All right, Bijan Robinson, rookie of the year candidate, a legendary Texas running back now with the Atlanta Falcons. He's here with C4. What's going on, man? Man, I'm just enjoying, the, enjoying this week, um, you know, enjoying everything that's going on. This is Actually cool... enjoying or are oh, you absolutely. exhausted right now? Okay, okay, okay. I mean, a little bit, a little <laughs> bit, but uh, just trying to, you know, make the most of it and just have fun with it all. Are you a Vegas guy? Not really a Vegas guy. I've been to Vegas a lot because I'm from Arizona. Of course. So, you know, I, I had I had so many seven on seven tournaments here. I yeah. can't even like count them off my hand, but I've been here a lot of times, so I'm I'll be still here. I love that. Um, take me through what this week has been like. Obviously, you're going through the process and you get to see everybody. I mean, like yeah. even just walking around here, you see, you know, CJ Stroud, Jordan Love, and, and anybody who just seems to be walking by. You can can't go five feet without seeing somebody. That's right. What has it been like just be so exposed to the NFL community and seeing all the other stars? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think it, I think it's great. You yeah. know, obviously, you know, you play against a lot of them. Yeah. And you know, you have so much respect for for a lot of those guys, but you can just hear just talking to them and and you know having a good time with each other and you know just showing the respect that we have you know you know for each other throughout the season throughout what we've done. Um, it's a, it's a cool experience even seeing like the NFL legends and you know other celebrities and stars like that that you know really respect who you are and respect you as a, as a player like. It's, it's definitely a cool feat. Um, so it's, it's, been, it's been a good week, man. I saw a stat uh, this morning, actually. I don't know why someone is recirculating it, that you had the most forced missed tackles in the history of college football from the PFF era. You know you know that. Yeah, and there's no surprise here. Uh, right. But I think it was a half a missed tackle a game, which, you know, yeah. when you're forcing that, that that's pretty damn good. Um, and I'm curious, uh, this weekend, you look at the Niners. They break tackles at the NFL level as well as anybody as a team Maybe we've ever seen. That's when you right. think about George Kittle, Debo Samuel, Christian McCaffrey. They break a lot of tackles. They break a lot of tackles. Take me through the art of how they break tackles. I mean, it, it's it's something I. You, you, it, it's different for for a lot of yeah. people. So like, people can anticipate breaking tackles and is already like looking forward to doing it. Um, or like with me, you know, I, I always say, you know, it's it's a gift from God, you know, to to have a, a gift like that. But it's more of an instinct. So. I'm seeing what a defender's doing that split second, and I'm coming up with a move that yes. split second, or or doing something to to get that defender on his toes, and you know to make him think some. I'm going one way, and then go another way, yeah. and then they'll miss. Um, but I, I feel like that's a that's something that people try not to do because you can get in a you can get blown up like that, yeah. you can get blasted. <laughs> um, but for me, it's more of like step on the toes. Yeah, and then I'm making a miss in, in, in a split second. Um, but I mean, it, it's it's definitely something that you that you got to practice and, and continue to do and have experience with because I mean, you do it the wrong way, then they'll get blasted. You get I, think, I think a lot of guys on the 49ers do a, do a really good job of of you know stepping on the toes and and getting the defender uncomfortable and then making that move and, and breaking those tackles. What are you reading on a defender? Like when you're about, you said you make them, you know, you use basically use their own body movements against them. But you yeah. know, when you're looking at a guy, I'm, what are you looking at? I'm looking at his eyes. Oh, I'm looking right into his eyes. And when you look into his eyes, then he kind of, it kind of gets him in a different, in a, in a different predicament. Like, yeah. Okay. He's not looking down. He's not looking at my hips or at, or at my shoulders. Like, sure. Cause I feel like look at hips. Like it's not really, it's not really a, a give or tell because yeah. guys are good with their hips and they're, they're coming up like this. So yeah. you don't know what, what's going to happen. But if you're looking in their eyes and they're looking at you, yeah, then they can't look at nothing else in your body wow. except what you're looking at, and that's how you break that tackle right there. It's, it, it gets a, it gets a paranoid. You can do a no look pass. You cannot do a no look tackle. You cannot, that's, you cannot just do a no look tackle. Um, what was your favorite miss tackle, uh, forced miss tackle this year in the NFL? Shoot, it was it was actually against the Cardinals. Okay, and no, 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 it was it was against the the Colts. Okay, um, and I. Uh, I reversed the field, like I saw I saw the hole, but it closed, so I reversed and this big D lineman tried to come and I just like I did some acrobatic move and like <laughs> like went down to the ground and like spun out of it, um, and reverse field and got, got a first down. But it was probably one of the craziest things I've I've done. Like I know there I I'd be doing some like weird stuff on the field, but that was one where I where it even got me and I was like, well, this is crazy. It's, it's crazy because I remember talking to George Kittle about this a couple of years yeah. ago. And you got, obviously, George Kittle's massive yeah, yeah. and you know, blocking. But he'd said when he got to San Francisco, they taught him, like, stay in bounds and go right at guys. Go right at because guys. Because a lot of times you think, like, okay, you know, the coaches were really saying, if you run at guys, some of them will get out of the way. Or some oh. of them will arm tackle or whatever. And I feel like there's a little – it's not a lost art because it's never really – 
you know, these guys yeah. are bigger, stronger, faster yeah. than ever. But like, that's the key. They just keep going and good things will happen. They, and a lot of guys don't want to tackle. Yes. Like a lot of guys don't want to tackle. They don't want to put their body in and, you know, in stress. Um, so when, excuse me, when you're going at, when you're going at them, like it's something that takes mentality. Yeah. And if, if you're a guy that wants to keep on getting hit, then keep on getting hit. But at some point you're going to be like, all right, I, you know, this, they're coming real hard. And, you know, for me, that, that's what I pride in. So, you know, giving them something at the beginning and then, you know, towards the, towards the third quarter, back in the second quarter, like that's when you start making moves and then they don't know what to do. Like it's, it's just something that you just got to just feel the defender off of and, and feel what they're feeling. Um, and then you'll always win that matchup. Kittle calls that moment a Spider-Man origin story where he just realized, just go right at guys. Go everything right, everything right at guys. Just it. go, just do it. Um, it. What impressions you about Christian McCaffrey? You know, the thing that impressed me the most is, you know, he, he eats up ground really fast. Yeah. So it's not, it's not necessarily speed. Yeah. But with his quickness, you know, he can, he can make somebody miss or get through a hole and get to the first down yeah. quick. Um, and I think with him is, you know, I think what people don't don't give him credit for is, you know, he's a hard runner. Yeah. Like he, he'll put his head down and he'll he'll try to run you over. Um, obviously, you know, with the size, people don't think that he'll he's like that. But I, I really respect that he he will give you the shoulder. He'll give you, you know, that contact balance that he that he has. And I feel like that's really important for a running back to have is, you know, very good contact balance and trying to put your head down, but still staying up. And that's, that's something that he's really good at. Why should you bet with Caesar Sportsbook? Two words, Caesar's Rewards. Every bet brings you closer to the types of benefits only Caesars can offer. Hotel stays, VIP experiences, sports and concert tickets, and more. It's not just an app, it's an empire. New regime, obviously, in Atlanta. Um, I was there in, in August and, and visited with a bunch of you guys, and, and I really enjoy the roster and, and the vibe around that team. And I'm curious, um, obviously, Zach Robinson's new offensive coordinator. What do you like about that system? Obviously, he spent some time in, in L.A. He understands that kind of thing. Um, what what do you like about that system that you're going into? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's, you know, he does that. They do that one back three receivers yeah. um, extremely well. And it, it benefits everybody in the offense. Yeah. So I think everybody who's on the field, like, that's what it benefits. The tight end, the receivers, the running back, like, yeah. quarterback. Every Everybody is, is eating. And even with the – what the Rams did, like you had, you had Puka, you had yep. um, Kyron Williams, um, and then God, who am I forgetting? Who am I forgetting? Who's the other one? I Cooper mean, Cup. Cooper Cup. Yeah, I was like, gonna say. Cooper yeah, Cup. and then like just all of them, yeah, and how you got to use that talent on yeah. that field and effectively, and that that's that's why that's our respect about them the most. And I think if you can do something that, like that with the Falcons and with us, then it would be sky's the limit. Is there a usage thing? Not to dwell on the past, but is there something at the NFL level you'd like to be doing more of from a usage scheme standpoint? Um, honestly, I would just say, you know, my, my dream for, for the usage scheme is getting all the all the guys on the on the offense that, you know, are are, are doing the doing the work, you know, those those spectacular seasons. Like I, I feel like there's there's those offense coordinators like Detroit, you know, yeah. They got two thousand yards. Yep. You know, running backs, and then you have a thousand yard receiver. Yep, almost a thousand yard receiver. Like you have a thousand yard tight end, or almost or whatever it was. Like everybody on that offense was was doing exceptional things. And when you find a guy like that, and when you got a guy like that um, that can open up everybody for the offense, then I mean, you, you'll be, you'll be unstoppable. All right, let's do some rapid fire. Uh, hardest tackler in the NFL. The guy Harder. you just did not want to see in front of you anymore. Derrick Brown, that was that was that was the guy. You know, I think I, I think that. I think he's one of the the best ones in the league, if not the best one in the league at, at his position. But yeah, I I run away from him. <laughs> so I was looking at some stats like yep. a month ago. The yep. season ended. I'm looking at like run stops. Yeah. And like oh, he's the one, dude. Derrick Brown, it's like. He's, he's like, the one. Like Barry Bonds, 2002. Like he's yeah. like lapping the field. I've never seen anything like it. What makes him great? Because he runs. Yeah. For how big he is, like, yeah. he doesn't give up on plays. He runs sideline to sideline, and he runs to the football. Like, if if I'm running a, a, a outside zone play out here, yeah. and he's over here, he going he gonna to get there yeah. somehow, some way. If, if you don't block him or, you know, if he's just free. 
And, you know, I got to I gotta look for him every time, try to break his tackle, spin out of it, something. It's because you got a big 300 and, what, 40-pound dude coming at you, and he's fast. You know, you know he ain't slow. So I'll, I'll say he's the one that I'm like, all right. All right. right. That, yeah. That's our memo to Zach Robinson. We'll play the Panthers. Get get, get Derek Brown away from Derek Brown. And I'll, I'll run at him <laughs> and then make a move like, but <clears throat> cover him up. Cover him up. We have to. We have to. We implore you. Keep keep, yes, sir. keep our guy away from Derek Brown. Yes, sir. Um. All right. Uh, We do something called badasses. Okay. And you've only been in the league one year or so. Maybe it has to be Texas or maybe it's just someone in Atlanta. It's the most badass person you've ever played with. It could be anybody for any reason. Just like when you think, all right, this guy either is a maniac in the practice field, maniac in a game. It doesn't matter. Where are you going? I'm going to go. I'm going to go with DeMarvin Overshone. He, oh. he played at Texas. Yeah. Linebacker. Uh, he, he, he was the one where I was like, man, this, <laughs> dude, this dude, he brings it. Yeah. Every single time in practice and – I mean, that dude is just like energetic, like yeah. getting everybody going. So I would definitely say he's he's the one that that's definitely the the badass. Uh, I love for that. Sure. I love that. If you could take one skill from any other running back in the NFL, where are you going? One skill. Derrick Henry stiff arm. Oh Lord. Yeah, uh, that's what I would take. That's what I would say. That's that stiff arm is deadly. And I've seen him stiff arm somebody to the ground again when they played us, and I was like, man, this is crazy. I, it, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Like, it's not like he's throwing small guys around. He was no. throwing big guys to the ground. Yes. He run yank, right at guys. Them. I've never seen anything like his running style. Yeah, I was like, all right, this is crazy. It, like, this is actually unbelievable. Crazy. So I'll, unbelievable. Tell, I'll, tell, I'll definitely take his stiff arm. I, yes, that would be – I think you might be banned from the league if you got Derrick Henry's stiff arm. Oh, my arm. gosh. Yeah, that's that – That would be incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, we do something called one rep back where you can li- relive any rep of your career, any play of your career, do it over again. Okay. What are you picking? <sighs> College or pro? I'm going to say I had a fumble in college against Texas Tech mm. in overtime. The first play mm. of overtime, and, mm. it, and it, we lost mm. that fast. And, mm. I mean, it was so, like, I was so hurt just, just with my teammates and yeah. my team. And that it had to be me. Um, so I, I would definitely want to take that one back for yeah. sure. Uh, especially like how we were rolling at the beginning of the season too. Yeah, yeah. Understandable. All right, tell us what you're doing with C4. Yep. So this is first of all, this is my favorite flavor right here. Beautiful. Um, and this is my this is definitely the the best I would say energy drink that you can drink and in life, working out, or just a normal day, a normal day, you know, work day. Um, but you know, this is the best performance drink for me. And I think that there's a lot of, you know, benefits to it, whether it's in your blood cells and, and get your heart pumping. And, you know, it, it, you shouldn't get scared of, of drinking it before you work yeah. out because, you know, there's there's enough, I, I would say, calories and, you know, here to, to help you out um, yeah. for a good drink. And it'll just get you to wake up. But I, I love C4. I've been partnering with them for a long time. And, you know, they definitely help me out a lot when it comes to branding, when it comes to, you know, getting getting the right things in for me. So this is this is the one right here. And if you guys want a flavor, get this one right here. Bang. That's one. So, All right. Yeah. Awesome. B. John Robinson, thanks for coming on, man. Appreciate you.